which are mark price, discount and list price. Now, we all might have seen when we go to retail shops or departmental stores that few of the goods or commodities have been tagged with the price. Now, these prices are called the marked price. These prices are either fixed by the retail owners themselves or by the departmental owners themselves. Now, moving on, list price. List price is the price which have been given by the producer to sellers as a whole. Now, this price will be common in all the shops because the prices have come from one common place. Whereas in marked price, there might be few changes of prices from one place to another because they have been decided at individual levels differently. Now, coming to our next topic which is discount. We all remember going from cost price to selling price. Now, many sellers add a discount to their selling price. There might be an increase in their sales. They mark this discount on the marked price or the list price. Therefore, in our concept of cost price and selling price, one more thing is added up in between which is marked price and list price. Now, to go to selling price from marked price, we will do Selling price is equal to mark price minus discount or discount percent. We all know that when discounts are given, obviously the selling price will be lesser than the mark price or the list price. Hence, to find selling price, we just find the difference between discount price and the mark price. To understand this concept in a better way, let us now look at few examples. The question on your screen now reads, mark price of a fan is INR 1200 and the shopkeeper allows a discount of 5% on it. Find the selling price of the fan. Let us see how this will be done. Our mark price in this situation is 1200 rupees and our discount allowed is 5%. We need to go from mark price to selling price with a discount of 5%. Hence, there will be a reduction of 5% in the mark price which was 1200. Now, 5% of 1200 is this gets cancelled and we get 60 rupees. Therefore, to go from 1200 to the new selling price that needs to be found out, we will reduce 60 rupees, which we get 1140. Therefore, our new selling price, after putting a discount of 5% on the mark price of rupees 1200, is 1140.